You can build your own data classes, but there are a couple of useful data classes built into the standard library. One is known as a pair, and it's just a pair of values. So you could have foo, and then you could have bar, and these are just a pair of values, and they're accessed via the first and second parameter values. So you can have a pair of values. So you don't have to create a, if you have two values you need to, to pass around, you don't feel like creating a custom class for it, you can use a pair. And of course, when you print line these to the screen, you're going to see that we have the following. So we have the first, which is foo, and the second is bar. Now there's also another way, another syntax you can use for this, and you'll see convert to two here. And this is a syntax using the two syntax. So basically we have foo is going to match to bar, it's a pair. So this is another way to create a pair, is foo to bar, this is syntactic sugar over the application. And this create this is inside of the Kotlin standard library. And you can look at the implementation here, it creates a tuple pair from, from this and that. So this and that is basically the two values. Uh, so you don't have to worry about the implementation, but you can either use a pair like this or if you want, you can go ahead and use the regular pair method like this. And we have a small error, there's our pair. Now there's another one here, if you have three values, you can call it a triple. And a triple is the same type of thing, so we can say foo, bar, biz, or whatever. And we have three values. And the same thing happens here, you can say triple, dot first, dot second, dot third. And these are all very similar. Now they don't have to be strings. They can be whatever you want. If you want them to be a, an integer and you want this one to be Boolean, you could do that. And this is up to you how you would like to have them. And then of course, as we see here, the triple dot second is gonna be Boolean as we see right here. We see the third is gonna be integer. And then we can see, we can also copy that because it's a built-in data class. So we can copy these and work with them as they would with regular data classes. So these are the two built-in data classes right now that are inside of the Kotlin Standard Library. Uh, of course, more to come if you're watching this in the future. Uh, it's pair and triple. They're both in the Standard Library.